I'm John Held, owner of Stonehill Winery. We are out in the Mori Vineyard today looking at Vignole grapes. Now, Vignole is a hybrid of the European grapes and American grapes. And uh, as such, it's tolerant to our cold winters that we have here in Missouri. And it makes a absolutely delightful white, uh, very fruity wine in Missouri's special climate. As you can see, these clusters uh, are quite small. Um, it's a characteristic of this variety. You also note that they're really tight clusters, which is another characteristic of the variety. And uh, that's one of the challenges of growing this because the tightness of these clusters, when they begin to ripen as they are now, and if you look closely, they're softening. Uh, two weeks ago they weren't soft at all, they were hard as marbles. And now they're softening, which we call verasion, which is the transition to the ripening stage in the vine. So as these continue to ripen, those berries are going to expand even more, causing this cluster to become very tight. The challenge with that is because of that tightness of the cluster, we can run into issues of late season rot because they, uh, with excessive rainfall, you can get some cracking in here and uh, a little juicing and then the, the fungal diseases have a pathway of entry. So it's, it's a very challenging grape to grow uh, that is subject to mother nature, on, you know, and the quality. So we do get some real vintage to vintage variations with this variety, but in most years, it makes really incredible wine, very uh, aromatic, a lot of uh, citrus and pineapple and coconut type aromas, as well as uh, like dried apricots. Very fruity, very full-bodied white wine. And it's a, a wine that uh, Stonehill makes in about three different styles. We do a, a dry version, our reserve vignole, a varietal vignole that's a Germanic uh, semi-sweet wine. And then in special years where we're able to, to let some of the fruit hang beyond what we consider standard ripeness, uh, we'll let them hang another five, six weeks and have a late harvest wine, which is a very sweet, intense dessert style wine. I don't know whether we're gonna get that this year or not because uh, we have had a fair amount of rain. It may be challenging, but you never know. It could dry out in the next few weeks and uh, have some really incredible ripening conditions. We just, you know, every year's a little different. You take what you get and make the best out of it.